Okay, what is up everyone? And welcome back to those who remain. So, we're learning more about what happened to me and why I'm here. Is that the fire station? I don't know, is it? I sure hope that stops. Never mind. Okay. Don't go through there, I guess. Is that the fire station? Is that a fire station? Oh, did I not go far enough? Yeah, so we just learned a bunch about us and what's happening, kind of. We were in an accident at some point, and we killed another driver. Still figuring out if it was our fault. Okay. So when does this turn back on? Why? Am I not supposed to go in there? Cause that light stops and starts, so I would assume is that the fire station? You have to go in there. If I didn't kill that guy in the car, would I uh, have gotten away? So they're right there. Okay. So I'm supposed to go on that side then, but. Okay, so I can't go in there until that light's fixed. Oh, there's a door right here. Gross. Hello. There's someone in this world that you need to find. Uh oh. What does that mean? Someone that's alive? Who? Yeah. Someone that's alive or another monster? Because I wouldn't be surprised either way. Oh, I never turned my lights on. I know that doesn't help a ton. But I'm sure it helps a little bit. It seems a valve is missing. Find someone and find Valve? Am I finding the company, Valve? Are they gonna make a new game? Stop watching crap on the laptop. The tech guy has to come here every week to clean the computer oh, viruses. Past the time. Nice, yeah. But in the office, though, they're really just gonna. Hmm. Oh, this is off now. I don't want to get close to whatever the hell that thing is. Okay, is that the person I'm supposed to find? Oh good, another locker room for all the lockers to start shaking and scaring the crap out of me. Because this game has a thing for lockers. Key for what? So I don't have to find the valve anymore? I don't know, man. I'm not a practical person. I'm not religious and I don't believe in supernatural stuff. But what I saw last night can't be rationally explained. I was in the parking lot outside the diner, completely alone. All you could hear was the wind. Suddenly there was a bang. I looked up and saw the light bulb from a nearby lamppost go out. When I looked down, I was partially surrounded by a group of figures with glowing eyes. I asked them what they wanted, but they just stood there in the dark looking at me, holding knives and axes. I got in my car as fast as I could, and when I looked through my rearview mirror, no one was there. So why is there knives? Symbolism. 
So is there something down here I can do? This leads in here. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well that took like five seconds to get back here. Okay, I found it. Why is there a door here? I wonder. I wonder what this door could be. Who could have seen that coming? Sure wasn't me. Is that monster gonna be going around now? Now what? Oh, I'm upstairs again. Oh, there's bugs. So the stairs are gone completely. Right here. Oh. Well, I can't jump, so I'm assuming that's not the place for me. What about on this side? No. That's even worse. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'll go to that other side. Because I'm not doing that. Okay. Crap. How do I get across? I have an idea. So I'm assuming I'm getting to that door. Mm, I don't know how to remember where this was at, but I think it was here. Ooh. This doorway, and then... But I can't get in there. Okay, so this room's good. This is a fuse box. The door's gone. I can't get in there though, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do down here, unless I'm, I assume I'm going out this door. No. Right there? Yeah, I guess in here. No light switch, though. What is that? Oh. Got a call today from Uncle Jenkins from the milk farm. Jenny says there was a poor connection and she can understand clearly what he was saying, but that it was something related to his animals. I hopped in the truck and Bob, with Bob and headed to the farm. When we got there, the front door was open, but Jenkins wasn't there. We searched for him, but he was nowhere to be seen. The weirdest thing is that his cows weren't there either. Old man Jenkins only ever leaves his house to feed the animals. Everyone knows that. That's when we called the sheriff. I hope it's not another disappearance. I started at the farm, right? Is that what this is? Am I stuck? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's just stuff I can grab. Okay. So I didn't need to come in here. Why is this? Why are these aren't glass? Well, I'm lost, um, besides that room, there's nowhere else we can't go in. And this is obviously made, so you have to wait back and forth. I need to go up the stairs.
da. But he's still here. Hmm. Is there a valve somewhere? So, what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing. I had to come back into this room. And then there's the valve. That took way longer than it should have. That took like five, seven minutes. So. Wow. That's great. And now... So where is this person I must find? Hello. What are you? Is that actually something? Hello. Where is this person I must find? Gillen and Mom did nothing wrong, and they were ostracized by everyone since day one. Why? Because they were different? Those who saw and said nothing are so much to blame as all the others, myself included. My own son. I still don't know what happened that night. I want to believe it was an accident. Peyton's a good boy. He just hangs out with the wrong crowd. We had to do this. We had to cover it up. It's our duty as parents. Anyone would have done the same. Or maybe that's just me trying to find an excuse. I know what I did, and I'm ready to pay my dues. They're waiting for me outside with those hellish eyes glowing in the dark. All I can do is wait for them. like a failing father. Where did you get he was an absent father from? I never got that from anything I read. He didn't want to fail again. I see. Woo. Wow. Can you watch my stuff? Yeah, okay. Why are- this is not a platformer. Why are we doing this now? Are you kidding me? So I need to go get the stupid barrel from down there. Are you serious? I guess I can grab the... Uh, this one and then move them once I get back over there. Yeah. And I can take this one. And put it back here. And if I need to bring this one all the way over here... I'm gonna be angry. Yes, I do. Shoulda known. That would have been too easy. <sighs> 20 minutes already, huh? Bonk. Great. That was like Assassin's Creed. That's what this is reminding me of. If only I could just jump over that. That'd be too convenient, wouldn't it? What? OK. 
Okay. So which one doesn't need one then? You? No. The one, the last one I checked. Nice. Wow, that was difficult. Where are we going? What is going on? What is this? I was gonna say, if I needed a barrel, I was gonna be very angry. All of this for Keith. I don't, I don't know. Or am I seeing a passcode? So we got triangle, was that a triangle? I think so. Hexagon. Triangle. Okay. So where do I get this? So that's to stop me from going back up. Okay, so square... Oh, is it the number of sides? If it's really that simple, I'm gonna be angry. That's not even a hard puzzle. Why even put that in the game? Six. Three, six, four. That's stupid. Yo. What's what's up, homie? Uh is there a way to reach you? I know I can watch walk off this and I really don't want to. So um Oh, there's a note. Bob, we've known each other since forever. I'm going to ask you something that goes against everything I believe in. You were in the creek that morning with me and this sheriff. We all saw the poor girl dead under the coroner's blanket. It shouldn't have happened, but it did. You also know that my son was involved. He can't go to jail or juvenile detention, or wherever it is they take kids nowadays. He was a child, it was an accident. I'm sending him to live with my sister in San Francisco. I need to get him out of Dormont, but no one can know about the accident. Jack will make sure the investigation is closed. All we need to do is forget that morning. I'm not asking you as the chief, I'm asking you as a friend. God, even the fire chief was covering up Annika's death. Hmm. Dedicate your whole life to helping others. That's what the chief did his whole life. Mm hmm. He was so dedicated to the fire department that he often forgot he had to be a father to his son. Okay. This time he didn't forget. And so he colluded with the sheriff to drop the investigation and protect their sons. Keith mm -hmm. Bradley was a noble man. But he helped cover up the death of a little girl. What do you decide? Should Keith Bradley really be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? Well, I've forgiven the others up till now. This is the last time. So I see no reason why not. Like, he did it. The chief or he had a way better reason. Good man. I felt like he should be given, forgiven way more than those other... The other father. So, I see no reason why not. But, at least he felt bad about it. That was what we were reading this entire time. But, well... Uh, I think that's going to be it for this one. Uh, feel free to let me know uh, what you guys think, if I made the right decision. Um, yeah, I just realized uh, one of my headphones was not on my ear. I took that off earlier and then completely forgot about it when I had to uh, look around for stuff. So, <laughs> um yeah thank you everyone so much for watching so we have two of the fathers 
we have one of the boys that did it. So I think we have... Well, there were three boys involved. I'm pretty sure we've only done one of the boys. We might have done two. I don't remember. But we have at least one father. So we might have a father-son left. I don't remember. But yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.